This code defines a function named worker which represents a coroutine. Within this function, there's a loop that runs five times. In each iteration, it prints a message indicating that the worker coroutine is running along with the current step number. Additionally, it checks if the coroutine is currently running and prints a message if it is. After each iteration, it yields control back to the main program using coroutine yield. After defining the worker function, the code creates a new coroutine using coroutine create and assigns it to the variable co. This coroutine is created but not yet started. Coroutine status retrieves the current status of the coroutine, co. The status can be one of several values, running, suspended, normal, or dead. The if statement checks if the status of the coroutine is suspended. If the coroutine is indeed suspended, it prints a message. This code defines a function named resume coroutine that attempts to resume a coroutine and handles potential errors. Resume coroutine is defined locally and takes a single argument co, which represents the coroutine to be resumed. Inside the function, a coroutine is called, which attempts to continue the execution of the coroutine, co, from where it was last yielded. It returns two values. Status a boolean indicating whether the resumption was successful. An error, an error message if the resumption failed. The if not status statement checks if status is false, indicating that resuming the coroutine failed. If the resumption failed, it prints an error message. The underscore in the following loop is used as a throwaway variable. 
This means that the loop variable is not used inside the loop body, and the underscore isna convention to indicate that the variable is intentionally ignored. The underscore acts as a placeholder for the loop variable. It shows that you do not need to use the loop variable within the loop body. While you cannot technically write a loop without a variable in Lua, using the underscore is the closest equivalent. It tells anyone reading the code that the loop variable itself is not important. In essence, the underscore is used to iterate a specific number of times without needing to reference the loop variable inside the loop. The if statement checks if the status of the coroutine is not equal to dead. If the coroutine is not dead, it calls resume coroutine, co, to resume the coroutine. If the coroutine is dead, it means that the execution has finished successfully, and it prints a message. This ensures that the coroutine is resumed if it is still active, and acknowledges completion if it has finished. We have seen how to use coroutine running to determine if code is running within a coroutine. This is helpful for conditional behavior or error handling specific to coroutine execution. We have used the underscore as a placeholder in a loop, indicating that the loop variable is not needed within the loop body. This is a common convention in Lua when you do not intend to use the loop variable. We have implemented error handling for coroutine resumption using a custom function. This ensures graceful handling of errors that may occur during coroutine execution, providing better control and robustness in your code. These are essential techniques for effectively working with coroutines in Lua, enabling you to manage asynchronous tasks, control flow, and handle errors more efficiently.